Greetings everybody and welcome to uh, the first analysis video in our analysis series with Midnight Absinthe. I have Deadly and Twee with me. Hello. Hello. Uh, so just for our first one here we are going to be uh, analyzing our own replay just to give you guys an example uh, of how we're going to do this at least with the PC replays. We have not yet figured out how we're going to do PS4 replays and we're working on that. That's kind of why we're doing this. Um, is to kind of get used to the format of of the easier ones before we move on to the more difficult ones. Because so far the PS4 ones have, have been just a lot of editing for me and it's been kind of just too much. But uh, we're going to get started with the replay here and just do... We do this off camera all the time. Uh, we're just going to do exactly what we do off camera, except you guys are going to be watching us. So, whenever you guys are ready. Yep, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. So the first thing that Deadly and I, we just watched like the first 10 seconds we, that we noticed was this bump right here. Uh, yep. I was basically saying that I shouldn't have been trying to cross Deadly's path. I should have gone for that pass, attempted to take it. And then I bumped you to it. I just saw that. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to watch that again, actually. Um, what happened? Good. So I miss, Twee misses, doesn't help because I just hit Twee. Back wall passes. Twee and I are way out of rotation up on the, the enemy side. Yeah, and I only just get back in time to watch that ball fly into the goal in front of my face. Yeah, I looked to see where you guys were. I noticed you were both downfield, but it was too late for me to actually get into goal because I was going for challenge and then realized you were both upfield. Yeah. So. We both flipped at the ball and just uh, sailed right past. Yeah. Are we done with that particular segment, or are we going to um, resync? I'm just seeing how... okay. Uh, what happens before this? That was when I had that pass uh, that I was it's... waiting for one of you guys to hit. So I expected Crew to hit it, then I expected Twee to hit it, and then I had to go challenge. But you were already both out of uh, position at that point, so I had to try to make a bullshit save, and it just didn't work. Yeah. It looks like... It looks like you uh, retreated a little too far back, crew. Um, I don't know if you're in ball cam or not there. Are you talking about for the actual goal itself? No, no, when um, when Deadly made the pass that he was just talking about. Um... Well, honestly, Tui, I thought you were going to go up. Because I saw a crew go back. I hit that pass to mid, expecting you to be at mid. That's so, when I hit Tui. Uh, I actually kind of feel like, well... Because if I would have missed that, that's why Tweet was farther back. Since Crew was already on his way back, I would have pushed up. Instead of going, you like turned twice sure. towards midfield. Yeah, you, like, I, kinda I did, I did some stupid little. little circles there. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't help that I missed that... Uh, when does it happen? Yeah, so Deadly, you, you hit me uh, because I crossed your path. And then I stayed there and used all of my boost to stay floating in the air for a block that was never going to happen. Uh, oh, yeah. And then I, I was like, okay, I'm out. And I flipped back and I hit Twee. And then yeah, it doesn't help because <laughs> I was out of I rotation that whole thing. Twee probably saw me up there. So I suspect I had no boost because I went for kickoff. And then I'm just here collecting pods. I, I don't have anything to push forward with at that point. And yeah, as soon as I hit Twee, I decide that, well, he's out of position, I'm just going to go for this ball and try and keep it up their end, and then I miss, and then Twee misses, and then they have full control with all three of them on their way up, and Twee and I are up at the other end, and that's just a disaster of a play. Right, I'm going to reconvene at 4.36. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. Same. Almost. <clears throat> I might need to close my window here. It's uh, All right. starting to rain. I'm at 4.36. Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Our rotations here seem That was a nice good. bump. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I was quite proud of that bump, actually. It worked out perfectly. <laughs> I'm 
doing a lot of uh, spinning around, not knowing where my rotation is. This is yeah. not good. Nice shot, Toy. Nice recovery. Thanks. I, had no I boost probably should have went for a shot there, but. You probably expected me to be ready. Yeah. And then just there at, um, I want to say, uh, 358, um, as, as crew goes forward and uh, misses, Deadly comes back around and goes for the same ball I am. Yep. Um, I did yes. notice that. Okay. Uh, in reality, I probably shouldn't have gone for it knowing that I had no boost. But I thought that I was going to be able to make it. At that point, that I, I used I pretty minimal boost. I saw where the enemies were. They had no shot at that. I didn't know exactly where you were, so I just went up for a little disrupt, and then as soon as I saw you, I backed off. Yeah, actually, you can see where you stop boosting and you turn away. Yep. That was just kind of a ball protection type deal. Yeah. Still not uh, ideal. But yeah, right. Alright, I'm gonna reconvene at 342. Perfect, I just hit that. Slate. Yeah. One moment. Okay, I'm there. Three, two, one, go. Nice touch, crew. Thank you. That was where I was saying to Twee. Yeah. You see us both go for that. That was where I was saying to Twee, I don't know where you are. Yeah, in voice, I was like, I don't know where you are, I'm going for this. Because uh, I couldn't see him, I, I the ball was just flying slowly. You want to go back? I want to take a closer look at that, yeah. Yeah, I agree. The, um, yeah, the, so the ball was flying slowly, and I was I was waiting for Twig to come past me and go for it. Uh, and by that point, I knew I was already at mid. And so when he didn't go for it, I was like, okay, Twig's somewhere, he must be hit or no boost or something. So I said to Twig, I don't know where you are, I'm going for it, and I turned around and went. By that point, we right. were both in the air, and you see our twee, you pull away from it. That was when you realized that I was going for it. Right. Yep. So I'm. I'm and then just after that, I want to talk to. Okay, and I'm confused by what I do um, right as the ball hits the corner of the wall, that uh, when Deadly hits it. I turn to the right. I think if I look closely at what you're doing, crew, um, it looks like you turn towards it. Maybe, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I did start, but I was trying yeah, to head into an offensive rotational three. Oh, he was trying to go back for that mid boost, and then as he jumped, he got bumped. Ah. Uh, Let's have a look at this. By Grub, whatever, he runs into him. Because the way you flipped, it looked like you were going to try to land close to uh, mid boost. I flipped. I actually think I picked up. It looks like I picked up the corner boost as I went through yeah, it. that's true. Uh, I think I was... The reason I turned there was because um, I was waiting for Twig to come past me to go for that high flying ball. So I turn inwards in anticipation of becoming number three or number two. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Twig just it never... And I, that's when I turned back again. Is that same thing that with that replay that we were <laughs> yep. arguing over the other day, Twig? Where yeah, I, I began to turn that. because I expected you to be further up, and um, and then I had to turn back because you weren't, and then it confused In me. Fact, and it's similar because you also tumbled right before you landed. Uh, did I? Yeah, you were you were hit, so you kind of. Um, I need to have a look yeah. and see you if I tumble, was hit, tumble, yeah. but you, you. And Tui, I noticed oh, you yes. do hang pretty far back. Yeah, partly because it looks like the orange is in such a strong position. You know, they're. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like I'm. If they get over my head, I. It feels like I won't be able to do much. Yeah, that's when you try to throw it in the corner and stall. That's why you'll see me, racing towards the ball and just tapping it into the corner. I'm also lot. still not very confident in my aerial accuracy, though. So I'm. Gotcha. I'm just less likely to go for those to begin with. I got a couple of them this game actually, but. Yeah. They still didn't have great power or accuracy. 
So this part that you want to talk about there, Lee, is this where we both go for this aerial and then I'm in the corner and you're in the corner and... Is that what you want no, to I want to talk about? about at like 326. Okay. It's just a whiff, but it like totally threw me off. Oh, yeah, I see. And like we, we just can't miss those. Yeah. Let me let me drop into my camera view there. I'm actually gonna slow it down a little bit because it looks like you kind of went through the ball. You got very very close, Toy. I think. Oh yeah. The mistake. I, were you, what kind of hit were you trying for there, Toy? Were you trying for a side hit? I was trying for a uh, a diagonal. You say you were trying to hit with the front of your car up towards their end. No, the back. The the back right. Of my car hitting it hit by diagonal, I mean. Um, oh, I see. In yeah. that situation, it's probably best. See, you you had Throw perfect the timing there. Wall. Yeah, you have perfect timing there. If you like, as the ball hits the ground, just jump. Like, I'm gonna watch this in slow motion here. Oops, oops, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. <laughs> so. Yeah, best thing to do here would be do a half volley with the front of your car and you just send it, you know, a little bit up there and but on the off the side wall that you're facing. Yeah. So, uh, if you as soon as that ball hits the ground, instead of jumping before it hits the ground, drive up to the ball and mm -hmm. time it so that you get it just on the bounce with the front of your car and send it directly at the side wall and that's going to be a good like pass a, rather than trying like for that. Kind of like uh, catch and go in that one training module. Um, Actually, no, you don't want you don't want it on top of your car. You want it to hit the ground. No, no, no. But in in, in catch and go, if you, it, it bounces, and if you jump just as you get under it, you send it higher and a little further. No, you so. well, you don't want to get under it at all. But no, you want yeah, it you to want power it against that side wall really hard, so that it popped back to mid where I was. You want to get that ball like as the when the ball hits the ground and as it's on its way up. Like just in that millisecond after it hits the ground is the hardest time to hit a ball. That's when you're gonna get the most power on it. You hit it with the front of your car just as it's coming off the ground, and it's got the momentum of it bouncing, and as well as your car. Uh, and so you want to hit it with directly the front, not the top of your front, not your back end. You want to hit it with directly on your front, um, mm -hmm. and just after that bounce and you'll send it really, really hard up against that wall. That's probably what Deadly was expecting, and then he's going to go yeah. up for a pass and probably dunk it right in from center. Same. I see. I think I was trying to throw it between the two who were on the ground. Yeah. Um, I th my diagonal, I think, looks like it would have been lined up for that. But the thing with if you if you were to hit that with, let's say you did exactly what you wanted to do, if you'd hit that with your back end here, it would have been really slow because the ball had so yeah. much momentum coming down and in the opposite direction. It would have slowed the ball down immensely when you shot it, and so it wouldn't have gone very fast. So it probably would have just slowly rolled up towards their end, and they would have been able to. Um, I mean, Scorch I even not... turns around expecting it, you to hit it. I'm not sure I agree with the physics there. Uh, I've gotten very hard di uh, diagonal hits. It's just a matter of, like, yeah, you can hit it hard with a diagonal hit, but the angle that the ball's coming at, at it from is coming down and hard towards you, uh, and you're trying to hit it back where it's, came, where it's coming from uh, with a part of your car that's not a particularly powerful part of the car. It's, uh, it's, it's not going to come off very hard. Fair enough. So. Alright, I'm at 324. Same. <laughs> I am now oh. there as well. <laughs> Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Now in a moment here, there's a weird spot. So I think right here, Deadly, you thought that I was going to be... um, You thought that I was out of that play? Or possibly you thought that I was uh, passing up to you? Let me check. Because I did, I got like trapped under him very briefly, but I recovered really quickly. So I went to follow it up, and then uh, and you turned around in front of me, and so I kind of tried to. Yeah, I saw you recovered, so I just kind of stalled my jump. <laughs> yeah, so I recovered. Yeah, you did. I see that. And it all went really weirdly, and yeah, that was. Um, why did I jump? 
I need to see why I jumped. Oh, I thought that Squid was going to hit it. Yeah, so I went for a oh, cover yeah. on Squid, which I was never going to hit. If he hit that, I was not going to touch that. But I think that's kind of what I went for too, actually, if I go back and look. I may have been going for a block on Squid shot if he got a shot attempt. Mm. I don't know. And we both end up in you, the same spot uh, in that corner. I don't think either you would have been able to get that. No, uh, I don't think so either. Yeah. No, I, I, I was well out of the way. If he'd hit that, I was not going to touch that, as I just as I said before. But that's I think that's what I was going for with that second jump there. I also double jumped and I went really high, which means by the time <laughs> I recovered, the f I hit the ground on the corner. Uh, and at that point, Deadly is following up the ball. It's right next to me. I ended up slowing down and trying to take the ball, and everything just got thrown off. And yeah, it just didn't work. No. Alright. 3 9. 3 0 9. Okay, give me a second. I'm there. Same. Uh, we're coming up on a, on a, on a goal. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. I want to see what goes wrong with this girl. I don't know how much boost I had. Uh, at this I whiffed. Uh, that was my fault. I started to come out expecting you to hit it, and then that was just a good shot from a squid. Oh well. Yep. Squid is a squid had some really good shots in this game. He was perfectly prepared for that backward shot as well. Good read on his part. He didn't. He didn't readjust at all once it hit the well before it went the, hit the wall. What is going on here? Are we I still keep taking my freaking boost? No, no. I, I went. I kept going. I didn't stop at the goal. Same. Oh. 2.15. I've paused that. Oh. I'm there. I'm there. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, I went up there for the redirect that yeah. was also never going to happen. Because they were all there. The oh, I, I popped that was purposely meant for me to follow up. Yeah. Nice. That was just decent rotation after that point. Minus the hitting each other. Yeah. <laughs> Which we've been doing a lot lately. Yeah, we have. And needs to stop. Nice catch. Right there, I'm not going to stop, so don't pause. But right there, I I could have sworn that I had um <clears throat> that I had that hit, that side hit when I landed. I want to talk about it. Right there. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this. At Twenty. Three or twenty-four, whatever. We scored the goal, anyways. But uh, yeah, see, I followed that, just like waiting for somebody to hit it, so that I could turn around and do a quick aerial or whatever is needed. And I right. think Twee thought I was gonna hit it. Yeah, you're you're so close to that. I think you're yeah. under it, and I thought you were gonna catch it and do something with it. Oh, you probably yeah. I wasn't quite under it, but you probably thought I was from your angle. I was just kind of waiting. Right. So, just a little SQ there, but still worked. Yeah, when I saw, yeah, when I saw that Twee had slowed down so much and it wasn't going to go uh, much of a hit, even if he did hit it, I just went for it because I saw Deadly You coming back. So, yeah, on the bright side, it made them panic pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Let's have a look at this. That is true. Yeah, he squid stops and he jumps and he gets hit by Scorch. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, freaking grub twist is all the way off in the other corner. 
<laughs> at 20. Yep, I'll meet you there in a moment. Alright, I'm there. I am there as well. Three, two, one, go. Stall on the corner. I saw you. I was going to go for that for a second, uh, and I saw you take it, and I was started to go up myself. <laughs> wow, actually, that was headed in. It was. I didn't realize that when I hit it. I thought oh, that true. Was if you could have turned around right there at 57. Let me have a look at this. Yes, so I saw that. Uh, I, I did try <sighs> to pass that back because I could not get a power shot on it. So I, I meant actually to send that a little straighter sideways rather than towards their end. But you are already mid flip, so there's nothing you can really do. It you starts before I flip, through. but I did not. It did not register. So okay, what I yeah. think I'm gonna go to my view here. What I think I see is, so I go for the shot, I get the shot off, I turn around, I saw, de yep, so this is my mistake here, the reason I didn't turn around, it wasn't because I was mid-flip, is because uh, I land here, I turn around, I see Deadly hit it, and I don't register that Twee is not in position to take this, so I was leaving that for Twee. Uh, gotcha. If I had seen, I would have been able to not flip, and I would have been able to take that shot, or at least uh, push it over for another pass. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, let me go back to... Okay. Yeah. I'm going to stop at 53. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm there. I'm there. I am as well. 3, 2, 1, go. I think that touch there threw you off, Deadly. You weren't yeah, a little me bit. to get that. I was happy that I got it, though. Yeah, it was a nice touch. <laughs> that was awesome. That Maybe was you pretty got cute. Demoed and then there. I died. <laughs> of course, I completely messed up my shot. I was actually trying to go for a shot there. Not yeah, at, I tried oh, to get to go a goal off your rebound and it turned into a pass, but yeah. no, those are the best passes. That's when I just kept throwing ball on goal. Yeah. We, we put some really good that pressure on That almost cost us there. That, that very de cost. nearly did, yeah. Nearly mid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, back in the... mid poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just going for a block. I didn't expect all three of us to end up there. Yeah, that um, after you hit that, cr after you blocked it, cross field, I was, f I saw that there wasn't going to be anyone to be able to save that if I hit that directly at goal hard, so I went for that shot and I completely screwed it. It ended up being a pass, which is why I go for those because if they're not a shot, they're a pass. Uh, see, so but from it my was perspective, just too fast for Delhi. Right around, um, right around six seconds. Um, it looks like you're basically in mid lane and Deadly and I are, are um, up in. Um, right lane. Uh, I, I don't think I was expecting you to go for that. I thought you would be the receiver of any pass. Um, yeah, true. I, I do agree with Sweet on this one. Expect me to go for what the thing at four seconds? No, no. So at if you look at, if you pause right about at six, um, there's, we're in a little bit of a triangle up in the far yep, right. Of I see. Deadly's the... just hit this. You're moving up. I'm yeah. in mid. Yeah, you're roughly in mid or you're in a position to be in mid. You didn't you're expect me to attack that Right. Just uh, still, I would like the, the shot happening still during six seconds. Okay, during six seconds, I would agree with Crew. Crew should be going for this one. I'm going to put this in 25 seconds. No, no, actually. right right, right after the guy saves, it's kind of half, half split between six. It's a tail end of six. Where yeah. I turn right and go for yes. the corner. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That, I agree so with I you. I shouldn't like have gone for that. Five seconds, yeah. That was a, I, that was a reflexive turn. You see me actually, um, I turn... I'm just going to watch this in 25 seconds for... 20 seconds. <laughs> 25 seconds? 40 I, 20, seconds. In 25%. <laughs> deadly six seconds and it threw me off before and now I'm, I'm saying it yes. too. Yeah. yeah, so you see he hits it, I turn reflexively and then you can see me actually stop turning. And I actually yeah, I actually break. Right, yeah. And then turn and then the other way and then, then we're all there. 
Yeah, that was just my bad. I shouldn't have done the only that. reason I actually continued to fly there was because I saw a scorch. It's like, yeah, there's a block attempt, but yeah, right. And right. that nearly, if they, if he knew how to dribble, <laughs> he would have taken that in. Yeah. I I think maybe um, focusing on uh, lane work a little bit more might not be a bad idea for us. I did we, notice that. Um, we tend to break uh, between lanes a lot, um, which isn't always bad. I mean, it's not as um, it, it, as far as we know, it's not as critical to maintain the same your your lanes. Not as critical as rotations are, but maybe being aware of how the lanes factor. I I agree. Uh, what we kind of need to do is right. have one person up, which is going to be your passer or shoot if it's open net, whatever. Have one passer, one person in the same lane back from that, and one person on the complete opposite side. I, I, yeah, that way I they can come with that person it, almost, yeah. Or, like, whoever has the best line of shot takes it. I think the that spots, we'll you're, I think the spots just to display it on video here, I think the spots that Daily is talking about is uh, number one position somewhere around this line here. On these boosts, I'm talking about uh, if you go, so if you go, hor uh, if you're looking across the field, so with the goals on your left and right, if you go up to orange goal, you've got one line of boost where the two back 100 boosts are, and then you move up and there's a line that includes only two little boosts. That's the kind of line you're talking about for number one. Number two, more back, possibly even mid, uh, on the same side. So if a person was right where my camera is sitting right now, uh, number two would be roughly around here. And then number three would be uh, on this boost line, or just a little bit further back from mid, on the opposite side over here. I th that is, I think, what Deli's talking about right here. I know you guys I'm can't see this. I'm looking for an example. <laughs> there were there's some uh, really good instances of um, of lane lane work that we had at one point. I'm trying to find an instance of it as well. Um, Deadly and I in particular have a lot of trouble with lanes because okay, uh, here we go. I found we, this spot. This we have this one. thing. Deadly likes to uh, pass to himself up across the field. Uh, and I'll often be on that side of the field that he's passing to, and so I see that he's going for a pass to himself, and I will try and cross to the other side to receive a pass when he eventually either takes the shot or uh, or passes over to me. And right. that's happened a couple times recently where Deli and I have been crossing paths and we've just hit each other. Yep. So. Alright, so if you want to scoot back, I can show you what I'm talking about. We had a spot where we started to do this. I mean, we lost ball control, but at 1 minute and 30 seconds... About 135 or 6, something like that. Alright. Uh, what did you, what, what number did you call? What 135. 135-ish. If you pause it at 131, you'll see what I mean. Like, it's... If we were farther upfield, this is what we would want. Yes. I can't, yeah. Right. If so, Twee, you're pointed towards more. ball. That's perfect. I'm face towards ball ready for pass off straight off back wall we would be there if it's a shot that goes high he can aerial up recover this is pretty much the exact positioning i was pass. talking about so yes. uh just uh shift our position up to me being here and that's exactly that's what i was corner. talking about yeah. that's exactly what i was talking about yep. deadly would have been here and twi would have been all the way over here and that would have been good positioning for us. Twee, you had an example of us crossing lanes. Um, no, I'm I'm looking for a, a good example of the our very lane beginning. Work. Yeah, oh, th okay. there were a lot of examples of, of lane crossing um, that we could find just by running through it in 200 speed. I'm trying to find a particular example I remembered of something I really liked. Okay. Uh, while you're doing that, I just want I do want to show people. Exactly what Deadly and I talk, or what we're talking about with lane crossing and Deadly and I clashing a lot. Right here, I see here 458. I see Deadly go for this pass. I, I see him shooting this up there and turning towards it. So I know that he's going for a pass to himself. I'm not actually going for this ball. What I'm trying to do here is cross Deadly's path uh, and end up over here, ready for if Deadly shoots that across goal or over to me. What ends up happening though is what you see here. I cross right in front of Deadly, and he sends me flying up to the uh, other end and completely out of rotation. I believe this, uh, yeah, this ends with a goal on on us. So, and I, ha I have an example of um, of poor lane work, in my opinion. Um, 
if you want to take a look at something. Yep. Let's do it. At, um, and we actually talked about this just a little bit earlier. At about, um, let's, let's call 358. Um, let me know when you get there. Working on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yep. So about 358, crew goes for this shot. Deadly's going back. I'm coming up from left because I'm... De Deadly already took the shot, so I'm sort of moving up into the position of person following on the ball. And then Deadly comes around and switches into mid. Mm. I think that's more of a just a, an issue with rotations. Like, Deadly didn't expect yeah. you to be... Or for some reason didn't think because you were going to be You know how I or... said, like, you seemed really far back. Like, I don't know when it was exactly. Right. But I expect you to be pretty much back there. And, yeah, didn't expect you to be that close. So I just went for a kind of a block attempt. Sure. Like what happened? As soon as I saw you up, I stopped boosting. Like what happened later on when I was saying, that right there actually, at three, it literally happens right afterwards at uh, 3.33. Um, when I go for that ball, despite tweet, I think it's the same same thing. Yeah. It wasn't a, an issue of lane crossing, that was just an issue of I didn't expect you to be up tweet. Or for whatever reason it was, I think it's because you said that you... Something. I don't remember why it was. Yeah, and that's where I said that tweet seemed a little far back. Yes, yes. But, Oh yeah, because I you uh, weren't that's just kind of what I've been like used before. to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it, so. I think partly I I may be a little confused about when I should be up and when I shouldn't be because sometimes I'm up too far and you're not expecting me to be there ready. Sometimes I'm back and you don't expect me to be back. Um, uh. Well, okay. Let's take this example. Um. And this is kind I, of I know I should. I know I should have been forward here. We can we can tell because we're flying, but it, it's it's kind of hard to tell sometimes in the moment what exactly you're expecting me to do. If we're looking at rotations for this, I just want to point out. So at three thirty eight, um, when I, I hit that, I hit the wall. I, okay, I start coming back. Deadly moves up. At this point, Twee, you are very at three thirty five. You are very far back right here. Yeah. Um. Because kind of seeing Deadly what has well, moved up. So I don't know why you would... It's like you went for the back boost as well. Yeah, that's right that's why I ended like up going for that ball. Because I, I fully expected you... Because I saw Deadly come past me for the ball. I expected you to not be far behind. It's possible I didn't have boost. I can't really tell what the situation was because of the replay boost problems. But oh, true, yeah. That is an issue. It is possible gonna... you didn't have boost. That's true. I think, okay, yeah. So when you go for boost there, let's say the boost is there, and that that was just a, an honest mistake. Uh, you grab that mid boost, that's where I would instantly turn and kind of be in that opposite position uh, because Deadly is now on the side of challenging because the ball's heading towards the right-hand side or the our right if you're looking up at orange. Right. I, um, think, I think if there if was boost there, there wasn't I boost, turned. then I don't blame you for going back for that boost. You do, really however, back, just to see if the boost is there or not. Once you grab that, once you grab that boost in uh, in in back, I would have just started flipping up f towards the, or forwards to follow up on deadly. You can, so you maybe can that's a bit of a slow. You can see at three fifty eight, I do get boost, and I tr immediately turn as soon as I get the mid boost. So I think we can we can safely say that. Um, yeah, I think that one point. There. Yeah. I th well, I think okay. I think that was just an issue of uh, Twee maybe reverting to the slower rotations, which I do like. Well, I don't blame you for it, Twee, but it's just something that needs to be worked on. Because even if you do grab that, like when you grab that final that, that rear boost, you you do take a while getting up behind early. And you actually drive hor like directly across the field for a, a good while before moving up. Well, let's so let's I wonder if if you do continue to do the um, the slow r slower rotation. Um, basically, if me and crew are both up and headed back, then you go. 
like try not to play so much on offense play a, like a lot more defensively since I tend to play super offensively yeah like I agree that you were probably covering for a clear if they got that mm -hmm. but if you look at their positions and I know that you're not confident like you were saying to me the other day you're not confident like keeping track of every single car but if you do look at their positions, one of them was on the f on the wall. There was no way he was going to be able to clear that. The other one was pretty much underneath the ball facing the wall. Uh, and then the right. other one, yeah, like I would have, I, I would have moved up a bit quicker, because uh, that's why I ended up going out of rotation and taking your shot off you there. It's because you were, I expected you to be not far behind Daly in the rotation. So, I hope you guys can't hear the rain that's outside. It's really difficult because I haven't got a hotkey set up for this OBS, so uh, it's really difficult for me to mute. I'm going to keep looking for that one um, instance of lane management that I really liked. All right, I managed to I managed to mute and then close my window, so the rain should no longer be able to be picked up. All right, here's a good uh, lane usage, in my opinion, at about two fifteen. Sweet, I was almost there. Okay, so like we get it clear, and just okay. based on where we are on the field, so Twee goes up, gets the clear. You get a good counter, and then I'm on the other side ready. You're up on their corner, getting boost. We actually, yeah, we stay. Yeah, we pretty much stay in three different lanes the whole time. Uh, like yeah. we choose, it gets compressed at the very start, but we're still in right. three lanes. We never actually cross paths. And so, as yeah, Deadly comes this. forward, I, I trail back a little bit to get mm -hmm. behind him. Yep, so from I'm watching from 215, you actually see we never cross paths here. So Twee goes up the side, he gets the clear here. I spin around, I stay uh, in that between Deadly and Twee right here. I spin around, go for this ball. Twee doesn't cross my path until like I'm way up ahead. Like That's not even crossing paths, that's just rotating. Uh, right. And Deadly goes out right to take this counter. Heads up, Twee is still mid, and then Deadly and I converge for that shiggy attempt of the redirect that I tried. <laughs> but uh, we never actually, yeah, that was, I, I, I agree, that was really good lane management. And for this slow rotation like you do, Twee, that is that was perfect right there. Because oh. when Crew landed, he was headed towards our own spot, or our own goal. So we were perfect for defense, and then we just had a miscommunication on who was going to go. Yeah. I probably should have gone. Yeah, I, don't know if I that agree. Mid -boost I, there, but... I was not going to get that... Uh, that redirect because they were all there. That was absolutely your ball. I should just head back. But um, I have a mildly radical uh, question. Uh huh. Um. So you, you, one of you just said something interesting about um about rotation. Um. You, you said um we. I think it was crew. You said we. Um. I didn't cross your path until you're way far ahead, and you, it, at that point, it really isn't crossing paths. It's rotation. Yep. And that makes me think, well, maybe then rotation is just another kind of lane management. I sort of consider them very separate things, but maybe rotation is just an uh, obvious kind of lane management. Well, lane ma okay, rotation is rotation is 3D, lane management is 2D, if you think about it. Or 1D and 2D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so lane, manage is, is, lane management is three lanes directly up the field. Like, mm -hmm. three vertical lanes. Uh, that, and moving between them. Lane management is um, latitude. That's what lane management is. It's managing your latitude. Then, Rotation so is managing both your is managing your coordinates. So you're both your latitude and your longitude on the field. So rotation is a combination of lane management and whatever you would call 
I guess, position management? So essentially when we are in offense, the way I play with randos is um, like if I'm one, both of those other people are twos, and I can either send it off straight off back wall, straight behind me, and somebody's going to be there, or I can send a shot on goal, somebody's going to be in the far side to recover that, take a shot. And then the person that didn't get the pass is now three. Yeah, like rotating, rotating is your one, two, three, uh, and there and lane, lane management comes into rotate rotation. It's part of it. Well, uh, lane management that, uh, is just the position on well, the uh, latitude of the field. See, you you called it one, two, three though. What what what's interesting? So let me let me um, coordinateize the field a little bit. We already called the lanes left, mid, and right roughly. Um, but then we also have um, sort of the tactical positioning, offense, uh, mid or support or assist or whatever you want to call it, and defense. Um, so that very roughly splits the field into three rows and three columns. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Rotation is deciding who's in which cell at what time and how closely spaced those things are. Um, so, yeah. you know, by, by lane management, then we're talking about who's on which side of the field left mid or right side from that particular perspective and i don't know what to call the other thing but it's i don't really figure know out who it's figuring out who's in lead who's who's supporting and who's back okay, yeah. so i'd say you lane management what is i consider one, one two and three are sorry do you want to see where i consider one two and three are sure okay so like do you see the box in front of goal that's got the stripes yep Take that and like stretch it all the way across the field. That's one. Two is the area between all the stripes to the center circle, like to the edge of that center circle. Two should be right in that area. I'm and three kind of is by your basically first step center circle. One. What do you mean? Uh, you mean you mean stretch it uh, along like from side wall to side wall, not from back yes. wall to back wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. You said across the field, so I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like across Wide sideways. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. And then two is basically from that stripe area to the, like, the outer edge of the circle. Like, if you cut the field in half, the outer edge. So, like, where there's two and a half stripes of grass. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's two. And then three is basically anywhere, like, straight with that circle, the entire circle. Yeah, but that's, that's kind of um, that's that's kind of um, an allocation for an offensive. Yeah, um, that, that's that's the point. When, yeah. when you're back yeah. when you're on the back foot or something, th those allocations are going to change. Yeah, but, of course. But, yeah, definitely. O overall, the, the the unifying feature here is that one is closer to orange than two is closer to for our current um, arrangement or blue. Um, one is closer to orange is uh, than two is closer to orange than three is closer. Yep. So. So yeah, in, in when it comes to rotations, uh, rotation I think one third of rotation is lane management. The other is longer cube management, which I R role management. I'd wanna. I, I'm starting to think of it as. I, yeah, I guess uh, role management, and then the last uh, is. <clears throat> I there was a last point there that I had, and I completely forgot because we had a whole conversation oh, no. in the meantime. But there was a la last point. It's not like rotate. You can't make rotations by just. Um, left, right, up and down. Like that's not rotations. It, there's there's another element to it of of context. Um, so what I said earlier is kind of off when I said like I'm one and the other people are twos. It's more like I'm one and the other two are threes, and then whoever has the shot goes up into two, takes it, yeah, and mm -hmm. goes. Yeah. I'm still trying to find that one example of uh, great lane lane management, but it was basically like um, we were slightly on on the defensive foot, and I was sort of a back three um a little bit ahead of the striped area i think but um still relatively back you two you two were taking left and right uh respectively one of you hit it so i started wrote um i don't know what i did because i can't remember I, I can't find it but one of you hit it and then it was going over to the other side then the other one of you hit it and basically you were we sort pinched of... it i remember that actually do you remember that crew I pinch. don't. You, you were both where on me and you pinched it. Slides. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I thought yeah, it was the one where crew passed it off the wall a little bit towards me, and then me and him pinched it together towards their corner. 
Never no, mind. I... I was thinking of it in terms of lanes. Um, crew was in left, you were in right, or vice versa, and I was basically back two. Um, I was ready to pull up into um, into left or, or right, depending on which one of you are pushing up. But I, I basically sort of... Um, basically, you, you two were juggling it between yourselves because the enemy was passing it back and forth. Um, and I couldn't come up, but I didn't really need to either. I was back to defending goal, and you two were sort of mid left and mid right. Uh, uh, are you talking about the one at about one minute? When crew couldn't quite turn around in time when I threw it at him? Because, like, the leading up to that, we had pretty good. Uh, I guess it starts at like 107. Because uh, you get to clear. Uh, Okay. No, because I never went up. Is the thing. Gotcha. I know. I didn't. I don't really think we're gonna find this, but at least we found one. Uh, there, one example of good lane management. We know what we're doing wrong now. Uh, we can probably move oh, on I found to the it. game. Oh, you I did? I found it. Uh, it's right about. Um, it's right at uh, right about the one minute mark. Let me let me find it. Okay. So, at. You're right. So I take it at 106 ish. Um, it bounces back, crew catches it, deadly follows up, which is good. I'm back. Okay, so, um, at right about the, um, one minute, I want to say at the one minute mark, um, maybe 102, crew, you're up, you're, you're upright, deadly is, um, left relative to us. He's going for, um, the ball on the left side of yeah, us. Yeah, well, at this point, because he's headed straight that way, he may as well be left. Yeah. Yes, right. And now I'm heading headed straight back. Now from this point on, you and Deadly are both covering left and right separately. I'm back-ish, but I'm I'm trying to cover lanes as they come. Um, There's a I point. Cover things as they happen. But I I, I think the, the the good lane management continues here, where you move over because you have a better save or a better clear than I do. Uh, I let you go out the wall and I head to your lane. I just take over your lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean. Gets a bit thrown off in a bit, but yeah. <laughs> but th there is some good. There are some uh, glimmers of really good lane management through here, and um, yeah, and that leads up to the one that I was talking about, that pinch. Yeah, yeah. Which one was this? Let me have a look at this. It was right about 33. 30, uh, 33, yeah. 34, I guess, but. Oh yeah, I see. Almost uniformly, yeah, our best yeah. players have really good elements of lane management. Yep. It looks like it, well, because I think we have our uh, our longitudinal mm -hmm. uh, rotations pretty much covered at this point. We're pretty good at that. The forward backward part. And I think the reason that we've been so bad at our rotations recently is because a whole third of it is being shit for most of it, <laughs> yeah. and that's the whole lane yeah. management part, and we hadn't diagnosed that yet. Right, right. That's the point of analysis. That's exactly Yay. the point of analysis. Uh, literally Speaking of, breaking up into parts, analysis. Unless you guys have any other points that you want to bring up. No, oh, I, does I, think that was, I think that was pretty fruitful. Then I think that is going to do it for this analysis. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been a, uh, I think this has been a really good one to capture actually. We were hoping yeah. to get uh, one of our more in-depth analyses that we do on ourselves captured and, and this ended up being exactly that and it wasn't even intentional. Basically I just hit record, <laughs> did the intro and then we did exactly what we would have done otherwise. Um, but uh, yeah, Wait, this is going to be... Wait, are going to be seeing this? Probably not, let's be honest here. <laughs> um, nobody yeah, I feel like me. when we actually do analysis for other people though we'll be giving more tips and improvement opportunities yeah so. yeah i agree uh, if there's anything in this replay that you didn't understand like you don't know what we're talking about or something like that for the people who send it in replays we will clarify all of that uh at this point we are talking in terms that we understand even if it's not universally used terms uh even if it's something we made up uh we talk in these terms and, and if you don't understand it feel free to ask in the comments or ask me on discord or whatever i will explain it uh or Feel free to send in a replay of your own, and we will go over anything that needs going over, and we will clarify it for you. So, uh, yeah. 
remember guys, if you do want to have a replay analyzed by us in this same fashion, uh, head to the Google form in the link uh, in the description below. Uh, send us a replay file if you're on PC, or please don't play on consoles ever again. Uh, get yourself a PC and get Rocket League on the PC. No, if you're on a console, uh, it's all in the Google form. You can fill that out. I will talk to you about it, though, uh, considering how we're going to do it. But uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Deadly and Twee. Thank you. We will see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.